Yes, Kim. I know you left me in charge, but I don't see why. The very first action you asked me to execute. Unnecessary, malicious. I could go on. I have to go. Call me the usual time. Malicious? That was a private conversation. You were talking to Kim? I heard you. Plus, she's the only person who puts you in a mood now that Joe's not with us. That might be about to change if you don't curb your interest in affairs that don't concern you. Except that they do, because I work here. And I'm about to do our annual report for the Hot and Business Consortium. And I think they'll be very interested in our new management structure. Please, do we have to do this now? Oh, and I forgot to tell you that Debbie called you yesterday. Here? Yep. Your phone, you left it in the drawer. I told you you were in a meeting, but she didn't want to leave a message. I just feel like we need a paragraph about Joe going so it doesn't look weird. Mr Joe Tate, former CEO of Waterhouse International, is taken a much-needed opportunity for travel this year. So his successor, Graham Foster... Nobody cares. But they do, though. I mean, Joe had a whole feature in the last Business Consortium newsletter. Young Mr Tate, relaxing with a game of chess. I mean, I could go into the whole Kim Tate thing, but seeing as she's in prison... Priya. I just want to get this report done for our meeting. I'll wing it. <laughs>